Welcome to Properties of Liquids. In this lesson, we're going to start looking at some of the properties that liquids have and discuss how liquids behave. The properties that liquids exhibit generally come from two factors. The first is that there's relatively strong intermolecular attractions between particles of a liquid. Now, as a relative to gases, so relatively strong intermolecular attractions or intermolecular forces. Secondly, the particles of a liquid are in constant motion. We're going to be referring back to these two factors that are common to all liquids as we discuss the properties of liquids. So let's take a look at what some of those properties are. The first property that liquids have is that they are incompressible. This is directly opposite of the property of gases in that gases are compressible. Remember that gases were compressible because their molecules were so far apart that when pressure was added, those molecules could be pushed closer together, reducing the volume. In a liquid, though, the particles are already pretty close together, so adding pressure doesn't result in much of a change in volume. The fact that liquids are incompressible leads us to the technology of hydraulics. Without this property, hydraulics wouldn't exist. The second property is that liquids experience diffusion. Like gases, particles of a liquid are in constant motion, so if one liquid is added to another liquid, it will diffuse. You can see that happening with this beaker of water having food coloring added to it. You can see as soon as a drop of food coloring hits, it diffuses throughout the rest of the water. It's worth noting that the diffusion of liquids is slower than gases. So diffusion does happen for liquids, but it happens slower than you would see a gas diffusing. The last property of liquids is viscosity. And viscosity is generally defined as a resistance to flow. You may have heard of certain substances being viscous, and you may think of things like syrup or honey or molasses. Those are liquids that flow, but they flow very, very slowly because it's, they're resistant to it. Their molecules don't like moving past each other very easily. Whereas a substance like water flows pretty readily, the molecules of water don't have the same degree of viscosity as the honey or the syrup, so it flows much more easily. In general, the degree of viscosity depends on two things. The first is intermolecular forces. If there are stronger intermolecular forces, that's going to keep the molecules closer together and prevent them from flowing past one another very easily. So higher intermolecular forces will increase viscosity. The second thing that can affect how viscous a material is is the size or shape or combination of the two of its molecules. Larger molecules or more complex looking molecules have difficulty moving past one another and they end up being more viscous. That wraps up our introduction to the first three properties of liquids, compressibility, diffusion, and viscosity. In the next part, we're going to discuss surface tension and capillary action. Write down any questions you have in your notes and bring them with you to class.